Hi everyone, welcome back to the Class 47 Pizza YouTube channel and welcome back to another mini review video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Depple Class 121 bubble car. Now the last time I did a mini review, I did a review on the Class 47 from Batman in the Civil Engineers livery. That was the first time I did a mini review. That video went down well because I had some good response from that video. And so I thought that I'd do another mini review. Which does give me the excuse to take a look at this new edition that has arrived in the post. Which is a Dapper Class 121. I have already done a full review on the Dapper Class 121 which you can find on my YouTube channel. I shall put a YouTube card up so you can click on that and it will take you to that video. In that video I do go into more detail with the model. Although the model in that video is a model I no longer own because I have only just recently sold that one off. That model I reviewed in that video was the Rail Track Maroon livery which is a Hatton's exclusive. The model I'm going to be looking at in this video is the Midline West Midlands livery which I think, livery-wise, is more appropriate for me. But anyway, so I'll get this model unboxed and we'll get straight into this little video. So before I look at the model, I'm going to show you what you get in the box. So here we have the instruction manual for the model. I'm not going to bore you with going through all this because it's all the stuff that we've all seen before. I've seen it before, you've seen it before, so there's no point really in reading and going through all this on screen. So that'll be put to one side and going to my folder where I keep all my instruction manuals later. And then we have the accessory bag with the detail parts in, which I shall be fitting to this model later. So I'm looking forward to fitting those. So now we come to the part of the video that we all are here for, and that's the model. And I have to say, first impressions absolutely love this model. This model really is a stunning model. So for the detail we have separately fitted window wipers on the windows. We've got separately fitted lamp irons and handrails. As standard with this model, and most models that get released on the market these days, sprung buffers, and NEM tension lock couplings. Although the tension locks are going to be removed on this model, I have no intention of coupling this up to anything else because the Class 121s and even the 122s, they only really tend to run in single units. So I'll take these couplings out and I'll be fitting all the detail parts from the accessory bag. Also take note of the painted cab interior detail. Wow! I mean there isn't a single part in there that's not been painted. Every single detail inside that cab has been painted and it's always a pleasure to see the interior detail on these models that have been painted because it does look stunning and wow! It, it just is nice to see that. It really is because it adds to the detail and the realism of the model as well. And so I really do love seeing the painted cab interior details on this. Also, all the underframe detail that you see here, it's all been separately fitted. None of it is moulded and it's also been painted as well, which I do like because that does make it stand out to the eye and on the model. Now we'll come on to the livery application, which is absolutely gorgeous. I do love this livery because it's a very attractive livery and it stands out as well. There's several different colours in this livery, all of which are correct to the real livery. It's a very nice, even and smooth finish. There's no errors in the paintwork at all. And it's an overall beautiful livery. You've also got the Midline logo 
and the running number of the unit crisply applied on the body sides. Now the reason I went for the Midline livery is because Midline operates in the West Midlands which is the area I live in as I'm sure you probably already all know. And so this was a no-brainer getting this livery because like I say I live in the West Midlands area which is where Midline would have operated in so getting hold of any model in any form of West Midlands livery or in a livery that it would have operated in the West Midlands area it's got to be done, it makes sense for me to do so, so naturally anything that gets released in a West Midlands area livery it's going to be snapped up by me for that reason that I live in the West Midlands area so it is quite a priority if I'm honest of sorts of getting hold of anything in liveries like this so that is the reason I chose this livery one other thing I do like about this model is that just like the real thing this particular class 121 has two different headco box sizes on this end it has the large headco box and on the other end where the exhausts are which are separately fitted by the way the headco box on that end is small just like as I've seen in photos of the real thing so it's great to see that Dapple have portrayed that on the model because they really have captured the look of the prototype really really well especially that they have given this model the two different headco box sizes as it was in real life one thing that I do find a slight disappointment now is this little grill here on the side of the body which that grill is printed onto the side of the body which it would have been nice to have had it either part of the moulding on the body or separately fitted detail parts because that's something I'd have loved to have seen but you know, if you're standing several feet away from it, you probably can't tell that it's printed on. But if you get up close to it, that's when you can tell that it's printed on. Especially if you rub your finger on it. But I'm not going to let that hold it against the model, because this is a stunning model. So I'm not going to let that little bit of detail there bother me. It's something I can overlook. So my first impressions for this model are high. Even Darren to the separately fitted handrails along the body on this model look superb. This really is a superb model especially with the amount of detail that has gone into it. It really is a stunning model to look at, not just the detail but the livery as well. It will be interesting to see how the Dapple Class 121 compares with the Batman one Although admittedly the Batman one is more expensive, it's priced at around 127 quid and 131 quid. Well, two of the 121s they're bringing out are priced at 127 quid, the other one for some reason is priced at 131. These were priced at around the 120 pound price tag I think, maybe a little bit higher, but you can get these now for less. I paid 79 quid for this one, well, 83 quid in total plus the post and packing. So I definitely recommend that you get the Dapple Class 121 because it's not a low quality model, it really is a superb model. Okay, so I fitted the buffer beam detail on both ends of the model. So I fitted the dummy screw link couplings, the vacuum pipes and the air pipe and those jumper cables there. They are fiddly to put on but they do add that little bit more detail once they are fitted. So there's the other end. I've also fitted the speedometer, as you can see there. The only thing this model needs now is some passengers and a driver, which I shall be adding at a later date. Now it also needs some destination blinds as well, in the windows on both ends. Now with some of these Dapple Class 121s, and also the 122s which are similar to the 121s you do get some destination blind transfers to put in the front windows there however this model didn't come with any whereas the last 121 I had from Dapple the Royal Trap Maroon one did have some destination blinds but because that's a Sandite, a Sandite unit I wouldn't have thought that that would need any destination blinds to be honest so it is odd that that one K 
came with some destination blind transfers as well as some of the other 121s, one yet this one hasn't. But that doesn't matter because I have ordered some destination blind transfers from Railtech for this model and I've ordered the Midlands destination blind ones. So I have got a couple of ideas of which ones to use, I've just got to finalise that, which ones I'm going to use on this. But for now, this model is looking exactly how I want it, so we're going to get it running on the layout. So we've got the class 121 running on the layout. And the mechanism in this model is really smooth. That really is a smooth runner. No grinding noises or motors burning out. It runs exactly as it should do, straight from the box. And it's an absolute joy to have this model in this livery running on a layout. Much more suited to the layout than the Rail Trap Marine one, I'll be honest. And more suited to my liking as well because of the livery beautiful model So I've turned the lights off in the garage so you can see the lights on this model better. And just look at that. Nice bright interior lighting. Which as you can see it actually lights a bit surrounding because it's running along on the railway. Which I do quite like that. So you can see we have the directional lighting. Wires coming towards you. And the tail lights are red. But do take note of the interior lighting, which is the sole reason why I've turned the lights off in the shed. Because given how bright the lights are, you can see clearly all the detail inside the interior. So it definitely needs to have a driver and some passengers in that now, without a doubt. So that now brings me on to my final conclusion for the Depot Class 121. And it's an absolute stunning model, it really is. I can't really pick fault with it to be honest with you. It runs well, it's got great detail, beautiful livery, so I highly recommend you get the Dapple Class 121 or even the Dapple Class 122 because they're both great models. It will still be interesting to see how the Batman 121 compares with the Dapple one, but to be honest with you, I'm more than happy to just own the Dapple one, to be honest with you. And a second Dapple Bubble car is definitely tempting because they are great models. So hats off to Dapple for producing a superb model. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave you with a few shots of the Class 121 running around the layout to end the video. So thank you for watching this mini review, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. As ever, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other videos and I'll see you again next time. But take care for now and stay well and stay safe.